Here with his 2018 IPO outlook is John Tuttle, the New York Stock Exchange's global head of listings. So John, let's first talk about 2017. It was a big year for the NYSE, IPOs for Snap, Blue Apron. What do you make of it? That was a great year for the New York Stock Exchange. But if we go back a year before that, 2016, not a good year for IPOs globally. Quietest year in over a decade. Markets have come back in 2017. We had 88 new listings here in the New York Stock Exchange. Raised about $31 billion, which is more than double last year. And you know, these companies are raising capital, grow and expand their businesses, and launch new products, create jobs, improve the world. So it's been a great, uh, great year for us. So will that momentum continue into 2018? We hope so. I mean, if you look at how the markets are, right now the IPO the conditions for IPOs are right the IPO window is open so volatility is low and stable you have index prices and assets flirting with their record highs by and large the IPOs that have come to the market have done well in the weeks months and quarters following their listing and there's a strong pipeline of companies not only from a across sectors here domestically, but internationally as well, looking to come to market. So we're excited about 2018. Market volatility, as you know, in 2017 has been virtually non-existent. If we do see some more volatility in 2018, just in the broader markets, what would that mean for the IPO space in your view? So kind of the rule of thumb is that there's an inverse correlation of negative one between volatility and IPOs. So the higher the volatility, the less likely we're going to see companies come to market. But what I will say about volatility is that leading into the 2016 general election, you saw kind of geopolitical events and political rhetoric decouple from volatility and market activity. We still haven't seen those recouple post-election, so I'm curious to see whether that will happen at some point in 2018. Yeah, now the markets have been buzzing in recent months about Saudi Arabia and Aramco. I know the New York Stock Exchange wants that listing. Can you update us on, on the plans there? Right, well, I can't talk about any company in particular, mm -hmm. but what I will say is that if you look at every major energy company from around the world, those that are listed on the public markets are listed not only in New York, but on the New York Stock Exchange. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we'll watch how it plays out. John, thank you so much. Thanks so much.